Hello guys, have you ever seen this kind of flange? This flange is a little different from an ordinary one because it has an extra step, but it's still a slip-on flange. So how do we weld this type? Today we're going to weld one using E4315 or AJ427 electrode. You see, this flange is divided into three sections from the bottom to the middle and then to the top three parts so there are three weld passes the lowest weld bead is done with a slight diagonal weave at the middle section you can use either a straight weave or a circular weave then moving up to the top it's also diagonal but in the opposite direction let me sketch it out the top goes this way diagonally and the bottom goes the opposite way be careful not to confuse the weld directions for this kind of job we need to use two pass welding. A single pass won't look good and also won't be reliable. You can't afford leaks. On the first pass, just run a thin bead to seal the gap. Whether you tack weld step by step or run continuously, it doesn't matter. Just lay down a thin first pass to close up the joint. That's the base weld. On the second pass, that's where we do the real welding. The first pass is just a base sealing the joint. Again, whether you tack or run continuously, either way works. What matters is, for the first pass, make sure you close the gap with a thin layer. Move side to side a bit and just fill the gap. That's enough. We're using E4315 electrode, 3.2 millimeters, with a current of about 90 amps. Now for the top side, at the top we pause here. This is our second pass. For the second pass, just follow the weave pattern we drew. Start from the bottom, move to the middle, and then up to the top. One full circle of weaving. On the second pass, we must do a double cover pass. It has to be covered twice. At the bottom, keep the electrode slightly angled. When you're at the high point, lead forward. When you're at the low point, lead back. Make sure to pause longer on both sides. Since this flange has a small step, when welding, try not to swing the electrode outside. Keep it inside this step, just weave side to side. Pause more on the sides, pass quickly through the middle. The current for the flange shouldn't be too low. For the root pass, we used 90 amps, and for the cover pass, 100 amps is fine. The electrode is also 3.2 millimeters rod. Pay attention, watch the weld bead carefully. The bright, shiny part is the molten pool. Behind it is the slag. Now we're on the upper side. This is the vertical position, starting to weld upward. 